we picked these two solar traders up a while back and they were at an auction and they going for around we got one of them for 5500 the other one was 7500 and now I think they're all the way up to 10 grand now so we got them for a pretty good deal I think but if you used to go buy all the solar stuff it cost you more than that to set them up but anyway here's the, the all the solar equipment is built by DC solar but extreme is the manufacturer of the trailer and the equipment and they're the ones that set it all up so what we have here is I'll start with solar panels these are 240 watt solar panels there's 10 of them on each trailer so they're they're positioned pretty pretty good for the summertime but in the winter time then the sun falls down in the south so about 20% of this panel is covered in in the winter time so it puts a shadow across it so you have to basically lay it flat which it doesn't this side won't produce in this particular position this side of the trailer won't produce near as much as power so that's when you need it the most because the days are shorter so it's kind of odd we thought we thought about cutting these off right here somewhere in here and cut this off and put a jack on it so it'll lift it up higher so that it won't spread a shadow across there anyway i believe these are these are 6,000 watt inverters they might be 6200 i'm not exactly sure so the way this thing's set up is it's got a midnight uh, combiner box this is where all the solar comes in so these are just breakers this this one covers two panels so there's five breakers so there's ten panels so each one covers two and then it's made by midnight solar this is the charge controller you can see it's producing 118 watts it's not very much but the sun's behind the cloud right now so so it's up to 53 volts it's a 48 volt system so they they did it up pretty nice they got all this stuff that covers up the ugly wires and everything it's got a fan that uh, pulls the hot air from from the system out of the toolbox they, they just mounted a toolbox on here it's nice seals tight no water doesn't get in there it's got a couple of outlets right here and then here's the, the AC side panel box so that's all the breakers to it and then this you go on the right side this this uh, inverter is like the primary inverter so all the controlling is done from this side this one is just a secondary and they're combined together so you have a combined uh, power of about 12,000 watts and that's continuous so it will peak higher than that so if it like if it be you have a whole bunch of stuff get turned on at the same time it'll peak up to like uh, I'm not real sure it's a couple thousand watts over it's over the it's rating but so there's another fan on this side we got some 240 plugs that's from the inside view and then there's the power you can just plug a welder or whatever you want your travel trailer into it and there are 240 plugs and there's outlets on the back of it here GFI there and GFI there this is the solar wire coming into the back of the solar panels and then it's got another plug here and this goes into the 
Uh, you can hook either a generator up to it or put a bigger battery bank on it. This trailer was set up for a generator but didn't have one that goes in this area right here. You can bolt it to the trailer. And there's also some outlets on that side of it right there. This system right here will pivot so you can adjust your panels manually. You just pull this out and then tilt it the direction that you want it. This whole system will unbolt off of the trailer. It's just a car hauler trailer. So this this rail here will actually will actually unbolt off the trailer and you can set it on the ground. Not sure how all this would work. You might have to it looks welded on there, but it's there is some bolts here. I bet you can take the battery off. I haven't tried it, but I think you could set the battery on the ground too. Some of the trailers came without hubcaps, so the wheel bearings were kind of bad because they had a bunch of dirt in them. But the trailer's pretty nice. It's not just a piece of junk. It's a nice trailer. Some of these batteries come in pretty bad shape. So you can see all the the gear on top of them and stuff, all the grease and grime going on. I need to pop all these off and fill them up with distilled water and top them all off. But it's just a whole bunch of tall skinny batteries they're lead acid batteries 48 volt so there's just four groups of them there and they're inside this box if you run these dead and then it freezes it'll ruin them so you can't can't let them freeze if they're dead Here's an example of the hubs. This one came with some pretty bad dirt in there. We barely pressure washed it off, but it, it kind of stained it in a couple of places. But basically it's just needs pulled off and repacked on the bearings. I wouldn't pull this trailer real far. But they do have some of these trailers that are configured with the Kubota generator and it sits right there and then there's another system they've got the bolt holes right there and you can bolt a light tower to it and connect it into the system so you have a big light tower on both ends of the trailer another plate right there that the light tower bolts to and stuff you have another slot for adding another battery bank if you want it to be bigger. But just as an example, like this this battery, I think it's a 50 kW battery. And it'll weld all day long. You could easily weld all day with it. This hitch, they come with a pendle hitch on them which is really weird to pull around that sits there and bangs around so we just had another uh, point hitch that we use on this trailer we have it hooked up we just pulled this off of our other trailer and it fit on there just just right so we just pulled it with that so if you're gonna go buy one of these at an auction make sure you bring you a hitch unless you either that or a pendle hitch that can lock it down because they'll come with a round, just a big round loop. You lock it in that way, but this works way better. Comes with like a seven point plug for the, for the trailer and its brakes and everything. So these two trailers are powering our house right now. And they, they'll keep up with a small AC system and just as long as you don't get too aggressive with the power but 
I know one of these systems has a little bit low water in it because it ran dead a couple of times which it shouldn't have done with the amount of power we were using so we're gonna check those out pretty quick fill them up with distilled water and get them back up to peak it takes a couple of days for the for the acid to get back to where it's supposed to be after you fill them up so they still won't be a hundred percent for a couple of days but anyway they're I think they're well worth their money they're if you were to buy if you were to buy all the stuff and including the trailer you'd spend a lot more than that the trailer's worth a couple of grand and the battery bank is worth a couple of grand the inverters are worth a couple of thousand a piece charge controller is about 900 to anywhere from six 600 900 somewhere in there the All the toolbox is worth a couple hundred bucks. And then all the wiring and the labor is a lot of mess around. But perfect for what we're doing, but it's not a fit for everybody. It's just something like we did on that last that gate entry. The guy didn't have enough power on the, his outside outlets. To run our welder so we could plug it right into this and we welded up the gates with it if you pull when you pull up to check one of these out at an auction sometimes these uh panels these these uh breakers will be turned off so if you go up there and the system sounds like it's dead and nothing's happening then just flip these switches all of these switches on and then turn all the breakers in this panel box on and then flip this breaker on and then this breaker on and then push the enter button until you see a, a line of bars going across the screen and then it'll say hold to start and you just hold the enter button down and then it'll turn the whole system on and then you'll have power to all your outlets and you can see if the everything's working properly but if it doesn't turn on you might have a bad system on it it could be an inverter it could be a unhooked wire somewhere which would be really difficult to find out where it is and so if it doesn't turn on i probably wouldn't even buy it i'd just on a different one the brakes seemed kind of weak when we was pulling it but, but it does have trailer brakes they're just not very strong the way you would hook your house up to this system is you would come into one of these plugs so you'd have to get that particular plug right there on the end of a pretty good sized cord like a like a one aught or a two aught cord running into your panel box so I would just get the you could have an electrician do it and he could wire it up for you and you just have a cord just like you do on your camp trailer that would run to the panel box that like at an RV park it'd be no different than that so you just plug it into that system I'll, show you the exact right up close to it so you can see what that might need for for your camp trailer or whatever you're plugging it into so that would be 50 amp plug right there these inverters are cap are capable of 200 amps like a, it's like a 200 amp service to your house the weight of the panels kind of probably barely heavy for this particular bar they could have went barely bigger than that but it's not like it ruined anything but this one had some snow load on it but this one hasn't and it's just as bent so it's not like it it's because of the snow load 
so they're both the same bent but they could have used barely stronger you'd think you'd put a brace there but it has to be able to pivot it'd have to be a swiveling brace in order to put a brace in the middle because the whole pipe spins when you're traveling with them you just pull this pin out right here you pull that out and then you fold the panel vertical because you don't want to travel with it in any other position because they'll sit there and flap in the wind plus they hang out over the wheels but you can link the trailers together like the two batteries like say for instance the inverter has 12,000 watts which is quite a lot of juice if you but just sometimes your battery needs needs to be bigger so like this 12,000 watt will run my whole house it's not a very big house but it'll run it and then so you can take the positive off of that battery and connect it to the positive on that battery and then you connect the negative to the negative on this one and it will double the size of the battery so that's that's one way you can just double it right off the bat you can leave the panels charged in the way they are everything can stay the same you just have to run a welding cable from positive to positive and from negative to negative and that will double the size of the battery so it's pretty slick to do it we haven't done it yet we just because we keep moving them around and stuff so we're not probably not going to do it for a little while but we eventually will link them together and I don't know how many uh, inverters you can link together but I think you can link these two to the other two so you'd have 24,000 watts if you I just don't know how to do any of that but the gross vehicle weight rating on these trailers is barely under 10,000 pounds as far as the quality of construction that they did when they built these I'm quite impressed with it everything's done up nice and tight the toolbox is a really nice toolbox on the front and it can be lifted off with the system as well it's got some hooks to pull it off with the it's actually bolted to the frame so it probably just come off with it all together if you lifted it off of there the trailer's really nice the welds are good Looks like everything's in good quality. The solar panels are pretty good. 240 watt solar panels ain't bad, but they make better ones, but they're they're fine. It produces pretty good juice for it. It'll charge up the battery in like like say if you start if you looked at it, let's say you turned it on at 10 o'clock, the sun's almost vertical it would probably have it charged by 11 o'clock in the morning in the summertime whenever we do whenever we take our chains off we always throw our chains up like this because you know in the climate that we live in those chains will get stuck to the ground in the freezing weather so just as a habit everybody just throws them over the top of there so they don't ever get stuck to the ground so that's pretty much everything I know about these things, which isn't very much, but the question that I would I get asked a lot just from people that see these is what's the maximum you'd pay for one of these? And with me personally, I don't think I would pay more than maybe 11,000 at the very very most because I could buy all the stuff and put it together myself but as far as if you didn't know how to do any of that or didn't want to do any of that it could be worth a lot more because you would have to hire somebody to do it which could double that price with when these are already all done and they're hooked up ready to go all you got to do is plug in your camp trailer or your house whatever you want to do so the way you that's basically that's what I would pay for a maximum of eleven thousand dollars 
and if it was somebody that didn't have any idea how to take care of one of these or anything it may be worth more than that to a person that needs someone else to build the system for them so it could be worth 15,000 to somebody that doesn't want to fuss with it other than that you'd have to go buy a trailer if you wanted a set up like this then it can be worth quite a lot but as far as to power your home you can just put it on your shop or your house or whatever and have this whole system just connected to the side of your house and this stuff has to be out of the weather like your inverter and stuff it has to be out of the weather that's why they put it in this box but the battery it can just sit in your garage or something somewhere but as far as that goes that's what i think their value is 